folks i've got another unboxing for you today it's a nozzy loves this is a little interactive pet that's currently available for just 10 pounds this particular one is the monkey and it's called snuggler on previous videos i've unboxed peaches the ginger kitty and Pookie the dog. So these are the two that I unboxed previously. The batteries have unfortunately run out in the little dog so I can show you that one working at the moment. And I can show you the kitty which is my favourite. So the kitty purrs when you stroke it. It makes happy little noises when you talk in a gentle voice to it. Isn't this sweet? I really like the little kitty. And it'll make a shock sound if you make a loud noise. So as it says on the box, these are adorable pets that respond to your voice and touch. So you can make, a, make them feel safe and loved in which they can give happy noises. Or if you make a loud noise, they'll give upset noises. But what's an, one of the nice things about these is each one has got different noises depending on what animal it is. So they come with a little try me plastic tag that you pull out. <laughs> that was a good monkey noise. So at the moment it's in try me mode. So it'll give different noises when you stroke it. Now that's an alarmed noise. When it's not in try me mode, it'll make an alarmed noise when it hears a loud noise. So we'll get this little fella out of the box and then have a closer look at him and see how he compares with the other two nuzzy loves. So you unbox these by removing the sellotape and then pulling back like that. And then the bottom folds up and you've got a cable tie in the middle with some little fasteners here. And the instructions are located underneath. I'll just turn them over and make sure that he's not in try me. So the battery box is here and the on and off switch is here. So I think he might still be on try me. So there, we'll move it over to the right. Move it over to the right and that uh, puts him in his normal mode <laughs> he's got some good sounds <laughs> that was funny So it says Nuzzy Loves are shipped with the batteries in demo mode and the batteries may be deplete, depleted for best results. It's suggested that you replace these with new batteries and then it tells you how to install fresh batteries. It takes four LR44 batteries and one of the things I will say against these toys is that the batteries do not last very long. It would be much better if they'd put in triple A's or even double A's, but the little button cells do not last very long. And then we have uh, this little diagram talking about different features. Big floppy paws with embroidered paw prints. 
Now I think these are really cute on the kitty and the dog. I've actually got little beads inside them like a beady baby and it makes them lie really nicely like if you put them on the edge of uh, a shelf or something like that. And you can see they're really nicely embroidered there. They've got pink embroidery on the kitty's paw pads, purple embroidery on the dog purple embroidery <laughs> we've got purple embroidery on the monkey but one thing i'll say about the monkey is they've used exactly the same body for the monkey but it's not actually a monkey's body you know monkeys don't have they don't have paw pads <laughs> and that body is a bit freaky because it's like the body of, of, of what you would see on a cat but with a monkey's head on the top which is a bit odd so that's why i went for a kitten and a puppy rather than the monkey initially i have got some ideas about a project i'm going to do with customization with the monkey but i'll talk about that later i fit comfortably in a child's hand I'm small, just like a real baby monkey or bunny, so I can go anywhere with you. I'm not so, so sure about that. Um, that's my hand and uh, yeah, I can only just, just hold this little one. Don't say it as a criticism though. I like the size of these. It's nice that they're not too small. You're getting more for your, your 10 pounds. <laughs> Super soft plush, body moulds to your hand. And that's true, it's nice that they've made something with moving parts in it, but they are nice and cuddly and soft. Talk to me, I respond to the tone of your voice with different sounds and movements. So, as I said earlier, if you talk in a nice, soft voice, nice. <laughs> These little pets <laughs> will re respond with positive noises back. But if they hear a loud noise, you'll get an alarmed cry back. Oh dear. I've got personality. If I like it, I'll close my eyes and purr. Coo softly and tilt my head. I'll close my eyes and sigh. If I'm feeling grumpy, I'll turn my head away and grumble. I've not actually noticed that, so that's news to me. Pet me. Responds to a touch sensor on the top of the head with a wide variety of sounds and movements. <laughs> Collect me. I love to chat and interact with my nuzzy friends. Well, we're seeing quite a bit of interaction already. I'm actually going to put some fresh batteries in the little dog so that we can get all three interacting together. So that's what the battery box looks like inside. And you place them with the positive plus flat side facing upwards. So we've got the little dog back in action now. I'd say out of the three, the noises are not as good on the dog. <laughs> so they like me saying that. Reason being that um, when it has an alarm call, it's like a very deep dog that sounds like it's in the distance. Um, it just doesn't sound like the rest of the noises at all. It's just a bit odd. There. It, it, it just has this deep dog bark that looks far away in the distance. 
see if they'll have a little conference. Oh, Kitty cried, she was being left out of the conversation. I think these little fellows are great how they interact with each other. And finally, time to sleep. When left alone, I will close my eyes and start to snore. Touch my head to wake me up. So I think when you've got a group of these and they together, I don't think they'll go to sleep because they'll just keep chatting to each other. So to demonstrate how they go to sleep, uh, when they're left by themselves and it's quiet I'll have to switch two off and just leave one on So I've switched the dog off and the kitty off and the monkey should go to sleep after it's been quiet for a short while So to wake him up, you just stroke his head. So the final thing to mention is the fur that I've ordered. Oh, yeah. Because as I said earlier, I'm going to do a custom on this little monkey. Mm. I'll just show you folks some screenshots of the false fur that I've ordered. So this is the first kind of false fur that I've ordered and this is the other piece so I think they'll look really interesting so look forward to sharing that project with you folks what do you think of uh, the new edition Paul and Nuzzy Loves in general. I like Nuzzy Loves. I think they're fairly good value for the fun. And yeah, the... I think they're good value for yeah. money, especially for £10, which is mm. what they cost now. I think the new edition, uh, I'm not keen on his uh, dappled fur. He looks like he's a bit mouldy. Um, <laughs> mouldy, <laughs> And it doesn't make him look like a monkey, does it? Yeah. So I think it's a good idea to yeah. try your project and reskin it into something more realistic. Yeah. yeah. But that's it for this unboxing, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. And see you real soon.